The controversial Waters of the U.S. rule, which would give the EPA oversight over any and all bodies of water, has been held back by a logjam in Congress and court rulings. However, according to one official, the dam may be finally breaking with this election cycle. Louisiana Representative Charles Bustani says he has voted twice in the House to repeal WOTUS, only to see a lack of Senate action. In the meantime, while Bustani is unsure how the courts will decide on the rule, he is sure that something will change after November of this year. So it's not been implemented yet, but it's hanging out there and we don't know which way that court's going to rule. So elections have consequences. Who wins the president, presidential election will matter. Who, what the composition of the U.S. Senate looks like will matter. As recently as December, the Government Accountability Office issued a statement that the EPA violated anti-lobbying and anti-propaganda rules in its efforts to push WOTUS. The ruling has been panned by agriculture groups, including Farm Bureau, as a means of adding regulation and expense for farmers and even homeowners.